Hey guys, what is going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and there's an estate sale over here. It's been going on a while. As usual, I'm in late, but let's go see what we can find. <music> Good. Hi, buddy. are good. Number two, two. Where do you have them? One on that side of this of Euclid and one on this side of okay. Euclid. Okay. Okay guys, definitely picked over whole lot of hodgepodge in there and what was left I think I didn't take a ton of video it was pretty small and the folks running it were walking all around so I didn't take a ton of video in there but I did get some shots and I think you saw the prices super high sometimes higher than what the resale retail and would be so uh, they I, I thought might be a good deal by just a family run small operation but no they are looking for top dollar for stuff but that doesn't mean that the old mountain man can't pull out some treasure i can find treasure almost anywhere and 
I find stuff they don't know about. I find stuff that I think is worth something. I grabbed this uh, Fish Tales Told Here hat. This thing's pretty cool. It says, when in doubt, exaggerate. I think that was on the video. They had quite a few hats in there. A lot of them were pretty bad condition. This one is pretty good. Uh, it's got some uh, real tree camo on it. So I think this will be okay. Like most hats, you know, 10, 12 bucks, something like that. This is an old military. I did find a 1957 dated uh, wool cover. It was just a cover for the hat. It wasn't the full hat. Those don't sell very well, even though it was 1957, but that gives me a date for some of this other stuff. You know, I know it's gonna be in the same era. So found this among the hats. This just an old army hat. It's tough doing this thing in the car, right? Um, this old army hat you can see on the front right there, a little bit of damage just from use, right? But uh, on the inside, you can see Cornell, I think is what the name was on there you actually see it better on the camera than you can uh just looking at it so i don't know what this is worth but i picked it up because it's pretty cool absolutely vintage you saw there i think the nike shocks these are uh, nike spark but they are shocks and you've seen me before always pick up shocks if you can get them for a good price these were four bucks is what they were tagged we didn't pay full price for all this by the way um even on the first day, I managed to get out of there without paying full price. He said, uh, you know, we're not supposed to make deals on the first day, but okay. Uh, their signage was poor, and I think they haven't been as busy as they wanted to be after probably that first rush. So these are in very good shape, all things considered. I got to go over them again and make sure, but the uppers are in really good condition. And the bottoms are super clean too, which is pretty impressive because these are shoes from... Uh, 2008 and you can tell that if you don't know on Nike's we'll see if we can get this in the camera here uh, Nike you can look up by the number and there goes the other one there's the number right up here the first six digits that is the the model of the shoe and then there's three digits at the end that's like the colorway so you might have a whole bunch in this six digit and then a blue or a red or a black or whatever the colors are denoted by that next number well what's also on there is and uh, i can't get it in focus but down here is the date it shows you the manufacturing date these ones 070808 it's right underneath the uh the size and size is 11 and a half so a good size and these shoes were made in 2008 so there's not a lot of them around haven't comped yet but nike shocks are always 45 bucks something like that so my guess is that's what these are going to be 45 50 bucks so really good deal there hey we just sold something uh and then uh this i just picked up this is a men's extra large north face quarter zip in really really nice condition there you go that's the north face it's just got the little logo embroidered on there. That's all it is. It's just a quarter zip fleece. But my guess is this is probably about a $25, maybe $25 free shipping, but $25 or so fleece. And it's an extra large, which is a good thing. And then the last thing that we got, tagged five bucks, is this little leather case. It's uh, it's not, I, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, is that Harley? I was really excited. It's not Harley, not quite as good. I, Honda you can see right here you want to look for there you go there's the wing sorry this is all fighting against me here there you go genuine accessories so this comes from Honda when you put that in the listings you want to put genuine you want to put OEM that's original equipment manufacturer we had a question about that here on the comments a little while ago uh, original equipment manufacturer means it's not a cheap Chinese knockoff. It came straight from the factory. This is what came with the fill in the blank. Uh, and this one, it's got the DOT on there. You want that for uh, like helmets and stuff like that. I don't know that it's going to come in focus. It's really small, but it's stamped on there. DOT means it's authorized. It's okay to have on the road. Um, this is really nice. It's just a, a leather like a touring bag is is what i think it is it's nice that it's got the studs on there i think this is going to be a little bit of a slower item to move but it's oem it's honda it's in very good shape there's a little bit of a nick there on the top but i think it'll be okay um i'm not sure but tagged five bucks i think uh 
he gave me a price some of it didn't have prices on it and some of it they kind of went down a little bit uh, so initially after him making me a little bit of a deal he said 19 bucks didn't get it he got 15 though so we got out of there with 15 bucks i think we'll make all that off of like the fleece for example we'll pay for all of the rest of it and the rest is profit so that's the way how uh that's the way that's the way i like to do it i like to find one item that's going to pay for the rest of the items and then they're all profit so we did that today and i'm excited even though most of the stuff in there was just overpriced it just forces you to be a little bit more specific a little bit more targeted i think we got some good stuff there is one more estate sale. This is run by a company that typically marks things up a little bit. So this is the day of high prices. Now they will go to half price on the final day. Uh, again, I'm getting here late. Looks like there's still actually quite a few people here. The phone's almost dead. We'll see what kind of footage I can get. We'll see in a little bit. Hi there. There's Hi. things upstairs as well as in the backyard. Perfect. There's things in the house, in the garage, upstairs, and the backyard. Beautiful. as I anticipated my phone died while we were at that sale so I didn't get a ton of footage from the second estate sale but like I said before I went in uh, I was pretty sure stuff was going to be priced high and it was a lot of stuff very overpriced not even just priced high it was overpriced which I anticipated so at, at those folks sales very nice folks they just price up on all their stuff you find the best stuff when you dig through the big boxes and stuff like that and folks had already beat me to the garage so i just had to look for the small stuff typically that's where i find the money at those sales is is the small stuff um and i did find a small thing now i want to turn off the ring light here and i'll show you what this thing looks like it's not in, totally in the dark but i think you'll get an idea so let's flip that off okay now um i saw this and I thought, you know what, I think that's uranium glass. I think. I just picked up my first one here a little bit ago. And here Let it is. Here is the, look, I got a little Jawa hanging out in there right now. Um, this is the first one I grabbed. I actually grabbed this at a state sale too. It's just a basic candlestick holder. This is nothing fancy. But I've been wanting to get into uranium glass. I've been wanting to be able to look for it, to know what to look for. So I've done... A little bit of research and uh, dug into it and when I saw this I just thought you know what I really really think that that's uranium glass so I ordered a black light UV light and uh, it's just an LED UV light and when we flip it on even not in the dark you can see let's do it this way see how there's a glow there there we go I can't find a good way to show it on camera here with the light on in the room but see there we go. It glows, right? That's what uranium glass does. Um, this, I thought, had a similar color to the candlestick. Let's turn that off. I thought this had a similar color to the candlestick, so I picked it up. See how they're kind of the same? And so I didn't have this with me. I should. I should just keep this in my car, honestly, is what I should do. That way I can grab it when I go to these sales and look for them rather than going, I think that looks like the right green. But sure enough, we got, uh, we got glowy green. So this is another, now it doesn't glow quite the same. Now there's Vaseline glass, there's depression glass, there's, I don't know the difference yet. I'm still learning, but I learned by doing and I learned by picking up. So uh, I picked up 
another one. I don't even know what this is. It's got like a little spout on one end. I'm guessing this is like a like a creamer. It looks like it's a little creamer or something. A little dish. I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's neat. So I picked it up and we've got our second piece of uranium glass. I don't know. The next thing that we grabbed at that sale was something that I, I picked this up fully knowing it w wasn't really probably worth that much. Now, again, I didn't have my phone. I couldn't comp anything anyway, but I was pretty sure most of these aren't worth anything. And I've looked now that I got home and it's really not. I mean, I think it'll sell eventually. I'll just basic, I, I won't make much money on it, but at least I have a set. It's happy birthday bugs. Um, Warner Brothers, see there's one side, there's the other. It's uh, It's just a Bugs Bunny. Warner Brothers thing. It's from 1990. And uh, at least I've got two. So I've got a set that's going to be helpful. And the colors are good. The graphics are good. So I should be able to sell these eventually. It's just they're not worth that much. So I don't know. I may even just keep them. We'll see. Because there's a lot listed. Not very many sold. So maybe these are just keepers. Or maybe they become a giveaway on the channel. We'll see. The next thing I found. Uh, these were in a bedroom sitting on a table and they were a breadcrumb that led me to something else in there. Um, these are Allen Edmonds shoe bags. Now, uh, people don't really realize these things do sell. Uh, now, they don't sell for a ton. Okay, don't expect to get rich off of these, but very often you can get them for pretty cheap because people don't know the value of these. Uh, I have two different sets here. They're a little bit different color came up obviously with two different pair of shoes um, these will probably each sell for it, it depends on how you want to do it like $9.99 plus shipping or something around $14.99 free shipping and uh, both of these will sell at that they may take a little while because it, there are others out there but they're both gonna sell and they're gonna sell for about 10 bucks now I paid a dollar a piece for these which is more than I would really like to pay but uh I, so i'm two dollars into a ten dollars uh, ten dollar item not great profit obviously not fantastic roi but they're small they tuck away they will sell and when they do you just tuck them into a poly mailer maybe a padded mailer just to take care of them a little bit and out they go so it's super easy and you make a few bucks so keep an eye out for the shoe bags now when i found these i thought you know what those are alan edmonds I wonder if he's got Alan Edmonds shoes. Well, guess what? He did. There were a few others in there, and I didn't want to pay up for them because I didn't love the condition of them. Uh, one of them was like an ankle, like a zip-up ankle boot. I don't think it's worth a ton. But I, I've not done a lot with Alan Edmonds. In fact, I've done nothing other than those bags. I've sold some of those bags before. So I know the brand. I know to look for it. I've just, I just don't sell many dress shoes. I like tennis shoes they're much easier often i sell women's tennis shoes I, f I feel like they're the easiest thing to sell um but i went out of my uh out of my comfort zone a little bit and i thought you know what these look like nice shoes so i'm gonna pick them up they actually have the shoe trees in them and that's partly why i liked it because i think i can either keep these and use them or uh sell them separately because it's a nice wooden shoe tree and i've obviously got both but he hadn't been keeping them in his bags because they're dusty. But these are nice, uh, these are wingtips, I do believe. I think that is a wingtip. Um, like I said, I don't do dress shoes. But these are really, really nice. Um, I have to look them up still. I just got home. There's, there's some scuffs on them here and there, like light scuffs. But all in all, they're in really nice shape. The bottom obviously has been used but it's not you know the, the heel is in good shape so they weren't worn a ton i think he just wore these on rare occasions and uh these are pretty good so it's an ox blood wingtip i believe alan edmonds uh so i will look these up but i am pretty sure that these were worth six dollars to pick up that's all they charge for so i don't know what do you guys think are these Thumbs up, thumbs down, and I don't know. Haven't looked them up, but I think they're pretty good. So that's what we picked up. We spent uh, we spent fourteen dollars, and I should out of those two uh, Allen Edmonds shoe bags. Once those two sell, that pays for the whole thing. Um, and then 
the uranium glass will sell for what it sells for, and the glasses, I don't know. It, we didn't make a ton of money, I, depending on the shoes. I mean, maybe it's a home run, and I was right that those are actually worth something. We'll see. But that was our estate sale adventure today. We had two sales, both of them wildly overpriced, but I just wanted to show you that even when sales are overpriced, you can find things to flip on eBay. You might have to go out of your comfort zone a little bit. You might have to grab a bunch of small things. That I don't know what route you're going to have to take. But very often there are still things to find. So don't give up. Keep hunting. That's kind of why we love doing this anyway, right, is the hunt. So embrace that. Enjoy the hunt. Find what they missed and flip it for profit. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I sure appreciate it. Hit the subscribe bell when I'm shooting this. We are at uh, 8.55, I think. So we are climbing our way up. Um, I said subscribe bell. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. That'll let you know when we put new stuff up. This is going to be showing up on Saturday morning. I'm out garage sailing right now, if you're watching this when it first went up. And who knows? Maybe we'll have some footage from that as well. I like sharing that on this channel. I like sharing information about bolos. I like what's sold. What do you like? I mean, tell me what you want to see because I want this to be your channel. And uh, I'm doing this to, to help you. I, I learned so much off of YouTube that I'm trying to give back. So uh, do that. Tune in on Monday. I mean, we've been putting stuff out every day, but don't miss Monday. We have a special guest coming on. The Bearded Thrift Machine is going to be on Monday night. It's 8 p.m. Eastern right here. That's going to be live. It's going to be an interview. We're going to learn about tools. You can take part. Uh, we'll get some of your questions in there as well. And remember, we're giving away free Girl Scout cookies. Free Girl Scout cookies. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.